Welcome to the Oshkosh Poet Laureate Podcast. I'm Tom Cannon. I am the inaugural Poet Laureate. And I hope to discuss some things with you about poetry, share some poems, uh, and just have a discussion on the importance of poetry in our lives. Um, So I envision the role of the Poet Laureate is creating opportunities for people to come together and share some poetry. Uh, That was actually a risk for me. Up to getting the role, I wrote poems and had them published in journals. My audience was one reader at a time, except for those odd, very rare uh, open mics. So I knew it was going to be a a challenge. In my back pocket was my respect for other poets I know and have have known. The Poet Laureate was my chance to champion those poets in Oshkosh that I met Um, They wrote poems and they shared them with their family and friends. They had a message and a love for writing, and that's all it takes to be a poet. Now, whenever I have a new project, I begin by writing. Whether it's a project at work, a new novel, a short story, uh, even uh, taking on the role of Poet Laureate, I began by writing and trying to figure out what I wanted to say. And that was where I made a connection to something I've been exploring for a long time. And that is the essential skills to having a good life. And I believe one of those is, can, is writing. When I ha- have had a lot of worries, I would write while I'd perseverate on them. And sometimes I'd still have the same bad thought going through my head over and over again. But I found that writing them down allowed me to say There, I can let it go from my head. I can forget about it for a while and come back to those worries later. I've also found that writing caused me to think about my worries in a different way. The act of writing uses a different part of your brain. The solution may well turn up at the end of my pencil. So many times I would think of a problem or incident. Let's face it, that would be usually be a heartbreak. And... What I was thinking would come out in the form of a poem. For me, it was also something I wish I could have said to somebody else. I remember I once had a relationship with a woman many years ago who said they dream of having a treehouse. I thought maybe they'd still thought about it. After the breakup, I wrote a poem about wanting to build her a treehouse. Working on it was cathartic. It was a way to think about the breakup and still be productive. Regardless of what her reality was, I learned some things about myself. Spending more time with it, I was able to infuse some meaning into it. I could make that treehouse into a metaphor. It eventually became two poems. One is a quirky rhyming poem about building it for. The other was that person in a treehouse. And it was a nice space to protect herself from the scary tree she was in. I was unable to climb to her. Working on it helped me to think about the situation with bigger truths of how love and human beings are. Here is my poem, Your House. I stood at the base of that weathered tree, the little girl and the adolescent boy. She said without being sullen or coy, build a tree house for me. The boy thought it could be done, but a fool would need be employed. For building a tree house is not how a heart is won, and a heart not won is innocence destroyed. Yet through old pain, a truth he could hear. It was an old feeling piercing through his fear. It told him that girl had gone her own life without the one thing she wanted, only strife. She was special to the boy. His desire was to bring her joy. So he gathered up a hammer, a saw, some wood, realizing that a treehouse would do her good. He said all the girl needed at the base of that tree, and he climbed to a branch and gazed down to her beauty. She looked up to him, to love, to the sky, with loneliness, sadness in her eye. His hammer went from his hand to the ground. 
He went away from the girl with the materials all around. He didn't like things undone, but he left her alone. Wanting to give her a treehouse could never be outgrown, but a treehouse had to be your own. The boy waited for her to start on her magical place. He fretted to not help. Was he strong or weak? The girl cursed him for leaving without a trace, but the boy thought only of her week after week.